We like to pay very close attention to what happens in the mid and small caps because it is a great gauge of risk on, risk off behavior. In today's video, we're going to talk about the Russell 2000, but we're also going to take a look at some other canaries in the coal mine that can give us a good understanding of what potentially is going on in the overall economy, and that is the transportation sector, the semiconductors, and then because of the fact that interest rates are such a concern in this market, we're also going to take a look at the housing sector, specifically the home builders. Well, let's get right into it here. The Russell 2000 held on to the breakout from 2020 right here at this 1700 level and in fact bottomed before the rest of the overall market. So you can see here this is May 2nd our lows and then we put in a higher low. When we pull up let's say the S&P 500 here is our May 2nd zone and then here it is a few days later it made a lower low. So the Russell 2000 showed us relative strength against the S&P 500 and it actually moved back up. Now we have talked about the 200 point ranges in on the Russell now for quite some time where we have these zones we got at 2100 and 1900 and 1900 to 1700 these are 200 point ranges and we are starting to get back above that 1900 zone specifically we need to break the uh, the highs from that FOMC day which is right around that 1960 level above that really gives us that clear potential shot to get back up to 2100 this would be a major accomplishment with a hot with higher lows being put in if we took this out we actually would make a higher high in a short time frame there's obviously still a lot of technical damage on this chart as we have put in a lot of lower highs here over the last eight months or so but this would be a start to repair that damage now let's take a look at some other areas in the market to see if this is being confirmed by anything well here is the transportation index the transportation index held on to its key breakout from 2021 this was a major zone to hold on to 13,000 is held and we have bounced right back up and we are now trading right in this big price action zone that acted as support for most of the year before breaking down there in May a move back over 15,000 would put us towards that potential to get back to that FOMC uh, sell-off and this is really, really important, this zone, because above that, we actually can have that potential runs back to those all-time highs. Transports are not that far off. This is a major, major level, and the transports are pushing up off of that area of support. If we fall below this 13,000 level, all bets are off. That's a really bad sign for the overall economy and the transports as well. But as long as we stay above this zone on both the Russell and the transports, we have the potential for a bottom to be in place. And the semiconductors are telling us the exact same story. It is holding on to its breakout from the end of 2020. Right in here, you can see the important 2700 level holding, and it has bounced back up, and it's trading right at this major level. A move over 3200 gives us an opening to get back up to that 3600 zone. Right, Semiconductors are a good gauge of risk on, risk off behavior because when semiconductors are doing well, that typically means businesses are spending more on their infrastructure to upgrade their technology, meaning they expect growth. Right, They're not making large capital expenses in their uh, technology if they're not expecting growth. So this is a good potential sign. Again, we have to break back above this 3200 zone, but the action that we've seen here over the last week or two is constructive. And the semiconductors did the same sort of thing that the Russell did, where we have a slightly higher low in place from the beginning of May to the, to the middle of May, to kind of getting that leadership. Potential little flag, move over 3200 is what we're watching for there. Last, but not least, let's take a look in at the home builders. Now, the home builders very similar chart, right? Sentiment, most people you talk to them, housing market is probably in trouble. Rates are going to continue to rise. Prices are out of control. Things have to come back down. Forget about what the news and everything else is saying. Let's just look at what the charts are telling us from the home builders themselves. They're holding on to this major zone breakout from 2020. 56 is the level to watch on XHB. And we have held on to this zone and pushed back up. We need to get over that 64, 66 level, and then that can open us for that potential move back up to 72. Bottom line, these bottoms and these bounces are very constructive, but there's still a lot that these charts have to prove to us before we can say with clarity that we're out of the woods. 
Right now, we're at these major levels that we're trading just underneath or slightly above. We need to see more follow through to the upside. That's been the one thing that's really been lacking here over the last week or two is those big, strong follow through days. If we can get some of that, it does give us an idea that the worst might be behind us. As always, I hope you guys found this content useful. If you got any questions, feel free to reach out to me at mtedeski at perspectiveofplaying.com or you can give me a call at 814-580-9881. Have yourself a fantastic day. I'll see you guys on Friday. I'm taking tomorrow the 9th off. We'll see you then. Take care. Mm-hmm.